All right, guys, welcome to another beer review. Uh, before I start, wanted to give uh, Beer Jam a shout out because this is where I bought this beer from. My first order, and it went really damn well, so I will be ordering again in the future. Don't want to make this sound like it's a promotion or anything like that, so let's get straight on with the beer. We're going to Denver, Colorado, and we're looking at Great Divides Yeti Imperial Stout which comes in this lovely 355 milliliter bottle. Beautiful, beautiful artwork there. And you've got a really nice crown as well. So hopefully I can get those labels off and have them for the collection. I heard a whole lot of good things about this beer and the um, other, well, the more barrel aged versions of the Yeti. I actually saw one in Brewdog in Liverpool while I was on a night out. And uh, I was so tempted to pick it up. It's like a big either 660 or 750 mil. I think it was the bourbon um, aged version. But then I thought, I don't really know what price it is. Can't be asked asking. I hate that when they don't label the prices. And uh, yeah, it probably would not have been a good idea since, you know, I was going to be drinking a hell of a lot more and I was, you know, a little bit rat assed anyway. I saw this on Beer Jump and I thought, you know what, it's a really good price for what it is. I'll give it a try and see if it's, you know, worthy of its praise. And, you know, if you go into the, you know, the beer review websites, it does have a good score overall. So Great Divide, established in 1994. So the Yeti Imperial Stout is an onslaught of the senses. It starts with big, crazy malt flavour that gives way to rich caramel and toffee notes. Yeti gets... It's bold hop character from an enormous quantity of American hops. It weighs in at a hefty 75 IBUs and yet won the silver medal at the Great American Beer Festival 2009, won the bronze medal at the Great Beer Fest, Great American Beer Festival 2008 and it won the silver medal at the same festival in 2005. Uh, suggested food pairings, grilled steak and leeks, sounds fantastic, rosemary, potatoes, gratin, into that as well uh, but yeah Roquefort blue cheese creme brulee don't think I'll be pairing it with them anytime soon ABV is 9.5% so it's a great nightcap and uh, bottled on May 24th 2016 doesn't have a best before date but it's an imperial stout you know approaching 10% you could age this one but I have no patience to age beers so I thought yeah, it's a miserable evening here in Germany. Freezing, it's raining, it's hailstoning, it's... Yeah, well, I've not been outside, I've just been told. We've been cleaning the apartment because, yeah, you don't want to know all that sort of stuff, so I thought, why not? Anyway, let's get the beer open to get this video actually started. So, no real smoke to speak of coming out of the bottle. Boy, oy, oy, look at that. That's a lucky little bugger coming out like engine oil and the head is almost as dark as the beer that's probably one of the darkest heads that i've ever had in a beer it literally looks like you've got chocolate milkshake just resting on, on the top of that jet black beer is that yeah it looks as jet black as the night is young that's not even the same peter that is dark that is hefty that looks just so intense and robust I mean, it's like foamy cream and look at that just how indulgent does that look oy, oy, oy. so let's see what we get on the aroma mm. definitely get a big hit of like a coffee like bitterness loads of caramel Loads of toffee, slightly burnt. A real intense, like, hot chocolate fudge cake. Yeah, demerara sugar, molasses, like a really dark, intense treacle. This one's absolutely wonderful. I'm not really getting too many hops, but I'm guessing that'll come out more in the bitterness, like it said on the label. And that head has actually dissipated. But yeah, ginger cake, spiced rum cake. It's got a little bit of, like, a... A sweet booziness there, but it's not 
like a, an alcohol smell, if that makes sense. It is literally like smelling a freshly baked chocolate brownie. That is absolutely wonderful. I think we're in for a treat, so let's find out. Cheers. That's good. That is really, really good. Chocolate milk consistency. Lovely and creamy, velvety. Oh, it's just wonderful. I haven't had an Imperial Stout that's had that mouthfeel for such a long time. Flavour-wise, I'm getting a lot of a dark cake, sort of like rum cake, maybe. Ginger cake, ginger biscuits. Gentle, gentle coffee flavour. It's not as evident as it was on the aroma. I am getting a really lovely alcohol warmth down the throat as I'm talking now. But on the flavour you are not getting any of that alcohol. It's actually robust in a sense, but it's really delicate at the same time. And those flavours just come together beautifully. Lovely sweet malt character goes into that. It's not heavy, like I was saying, it's creamy backbone. Wonderful body to this beer. On the back end, you are hit with those 75 IBUs. Was it 75? Yeah, definitely, definitely getting that 75 IBUs. And that's where that slight coffee-like flavour comes in. Yeah, this is absolutely wonderful. This is like a, excuse me, like a boozy, rich, indulgent, gooey cake. Loads of chocolate, loads of caramel, loads of toffee. It's absolutely wonderful stuff. Really, really is. Just look at that as it pours. It's like an oil leak. It's wonderful. So we'll pour the rest in. Yeah, chocolate milkshake all day. I can't get over that. That's absolutely wonderful. I do get some slight alcohol infused like raisins in there as well, and like those like dark, intense dried fruits. Like you've rehydrated them in like a a brandy or something like that. But it's that sweetness that comes from it, not the alcohol. It's just a, it's a beautiful beer. I cannot fault this beer. It's taken all the right boxes. And uh, yeah, this would be so wonderful barrel aged. But at the same time, it might lose something if you barrel age it. So as it is, it's fantastic. Maybe I should have kept all of this for like a couple of years because as that mellows down, yeah, it's just it's just wonderful. It, it's like the ultimate dessert beer. Nine point five percent. It doesn't drink like that. Um, it's actually a little bit too drinkable. If that's a bad thing, probably should take my time from now on with this one. But um, yeah, that's probably the best imperial stout that I've had from America. That's for sure. And uh, yeah, if you ever come across it. Pick yourself up a bottle because that's absolutely wonderful stuff. So Yeti Imperial Stout from Great Divide over in Denver, Colorado. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. World class beer. 10 out of 10 from me. And uh, yeah, I'd love to hear what your thoughts and opinions are if you've tried this one. So let me know in the comments. Uh, check out the Great Divide. Check out Beardium as well. And uh, if any of... Uh, my friends have reviewed this one. Their links will be in the description as well as all the usual guff. A wonderful, wonderful beer. You know, this one is beers that you could spend like half an hour just picking things out of it. It's so complex but gentle at the same time. So easy drinking for what it is. So indulgent, so rich. Beautiful beer, 10 out of 10. Check it out. And uh, yeah, if you have, let me know what you think. So, thank you guys for watching and I shall hopefully see you next time.